stepped into the museum here at uh, Oak Hill Grounds, and I got this cool exhibit called From Tree to Treasure, Wood Turnings, by Al Christopher. I think that's him right there. But anywho, he's got all these, all these cool, cool things that he made, all out of wood. This tea set, this cake, yes, a cake out of wood. But that was a piece of cake to make. <laughs> But yeah, this is pretty cool. This is all kinds of things that he's made in here. Bowled over. I get it. You'll have to drink fast out of that one. Really fast. I just, I've heard of a dribble glass, but this is ridiculous. Don't be fooled by this. It says here, don't try to bounce this basketball. It's made entirely of wood. What the heck? That's pretty good. Good wood. Oh, well, there's an egg. How's about that? I guess this is where it starts. A piece of weird, weird wood. Cherry, this is a cherry burl. Burl? What is a burl, you ask? It's an abnormal external growth on a tree caused by stress. The masses are characteristically hemispherical shapes bulging out from the sides of trunks or limbs. Or they can completely encompass them as well. Wood turners value burls for the diversity of textures and colors they hold inside, but this variation presents challenges. Since the cause is sometimes related to a fungal presence or an injury, the wood inside is less predictable and possibly unstable. The only way to know what you are working with is to start turning the piece. They say an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but not the dentist you try to chomp on one of these guys. These are all made of different woods. Looks like zebra wood, mahogany. Look at that big one. Imbues. Hm. I guess this is what all the different woods look like after you turn them and I guess seal them. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Looks like here's some examples of some carvings that are turned from the burls. As you can see from the edges here, how it provides a pretty interesting perimeter around the piece. It's pretty cool. Yep, that's pretty cool. All right, so we've seen enough of this museum heading on out. We just learned that this building, it's not an original building, this particular one where the museum is. This was built after the fact in the same style as the rest of them, or, or the main building over on up top of Oak Hill over there, which is where Martha Berry grew up and lived later on in her adult life. Just a quick little run through of the museum here on the uh, Berry College Oak Hill little estate. I recommend coming here and just doing a walkthrough. They have that nice little exhibit uh, right now. This is a, a temporary exhibit where they have the wood turning by Albert, Alfred, Al. Christopher, Al Christopher, that guy. So if you want, I mean, you can just see the grounds, you can just walk around a bit, and uh, that's always cool. Just enjoy the weather. But I think there's some more stuff to see, so we might not be done just yet. Let's go see. One other thing that we came across, if you're in need of lodging here, we've got the Squeeze Inn. I'm sure it's called the Squeeze Inn because this is, this is smaller than your normal size buildings. I would call that a normal size building. Right here, not as much. Definitely a squeeze in. Squeeze out of that one. Oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, that's more like it. That's that's more my size. Full size. All right, so here we are at the original cabin. You know, kids had playhouses when they were young, but they probably were not on the scale of this. They were probably on the scale of the, the previous one, that squeeze in. This was the playhouse for the Barry children. Full size building. I mean, look at this fireplace. It's huge. Can you, look at that. It's huge. This is how you lived back then. 
circa 1873 this thing here this is pretty cool but this is this is a full size full size building it's, it's, this is probably bigger than some people's homes really and it's a playhouse those berry kids they were very very lucky very much indeed. This was just a walkthrough of the museum here on the Berry Grounds for Berry College, as well as a couple of other little small buildings here and there. I hope you enjoyed it. We enjoyed coming out here and doing this. We enjoyed being here. If you liked it, let us know. If you didn't, let us know. Let us know. But we're going to keep doing these because we enjoy doing them. It gives us a, an excuse to get out and go do some things. As far as we're concerned, that's, that's pretty, pretty cool. cool.